Why should anybody trade Forex? Because it's a very liquid market. It's a huge market. Um, you're ac you can access it um, you know, with a relatively small amount of money, I think. But somebody shouldn't trade Forex just because they're looking to get rich. They should see it as, as something that they, um, over time, have a genuine, genuine interest in. And it's not, it's not time frame specific. So if I'm down in South Africa, that's great because you're only an hour, you know, an hour or so ahead. But I can still trade Forex if I'm over towards Asia or, or, or the other way. So it, you've got opportunity wherever you are. Is it possible to make money consistently with Forex short term? And do you know any traders that do this? Yeah, um, I think it's easier to make money sh consistently short term than it actually is to make money long term. So again, you've got to define short term, but let's say three months, it's, it's, you, can, you can get lucky and make money over three months. Um, you can have, as long as you've got good risk management, you could probably get lucky and make money over three to six months. It's whether you can make money year, two, three, four. So both is possible, yeah. Can intraday trading be profitable? Yes, absolutely. Um, I think with, with all trading, you've got to be disciplined. But with intraday trading, the charts are in front of you, stuff is happening. Um, if you decide not to take a trade and it goes the way you thought it was going to go, that's sort of screaming at you, look what you could, have, you could have traded. Or you have a trade and it loses, the next opportunity could come up quite quickly. So whilst discipline is important across the board, it's even more important when you're intraday trading. So it's possible to make money, but you are being, the, the emotional ups and downs are potentially bigger and happen more quickly so you have to be more resilient. Do you think that's one of the biggest challenges to overcome then with intraday trading? Absolutely. The, the, the biggest challenge is, is, is resilience, um, is trade frequency. So you, your strategy may average three trades a day, let's say. Now, if, those, if you have two losing trades, so you trade at nine o'clock in the morning, 11 o'clock in the morning, and you've had two losers, and you get another set up at two in the afternoon, will you take that third set up because you've had two losers that day in quick succession? Whereas a swing trader may have had two losing trades, but they might be three or four days apart. So there's been a spell where they can relax, get their head back together, and that, placing that third trade doesn't seem as intense. Whereas as a, as a day trader, you've got that intensity that you've got, to, you've got to push the button. For example, Kerry, who I spoke about earlier, she had eight losing trades in one morning, and then she had two winning trades that almost got her back the entire amount of money that she'd lost. But she still had to place the eighth and the ninth, sorry, the ninth and the tenth after having eight in a row. Mm. So it takes a lot of it takes, it's, it's an intensity, yeah. yeah. What advice would you give to somebody who wants to trade in currencies? Um, wow, there's so many. I think if I was to, to pick three things is start small uh, and worry about the percent, in terms of your result, worry about your percent and measure your percentage return rather than the amount of cash you make initially. Um, is don't be lured in by the fact that there are so many Forex markets out there, is only pick a few. And, and make sure that you have a strategy and you've tested it. Whether it's one of ours that you've, you've taken, test it yourself, whether it's one that you, you have, you've bought from wherever or found on the internet, test that strategy before you put your own money behind it.